Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing a serious review and this is called The Last Kingdom and this is only for season one. Um, I hope you're gonna enjoy my review. Uh, you're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. This is rated 8.4 out of 10 stars on imdb.com. It is TVMA and I do agree with that. There's a ton of violence and there is some nudity in there. It, each episode runs um, an hour, action, drama, history, but it is, um, fictional history because certain details especially the character Uhtred never existed really um I'm really delayed in this particular show because it's been out for a few years but uh, I ran out of shows and uh, this was suggested heavily suggested so I thought I'd give it a shot um so basically Uhtred which I found really kind of disturbing in like the first episode his name was actually different and then um his father had him rebaptized as Uhtred which was his father's name because he wasn't the oldest he had an older brother so that's a little bit of a spoiler I'm sorry um so anyway something happened that he was separated from where he was where he was born and raised to like 10 year old 12 year old and he was taken in by some vikings or dane dane vikings like that would be danish i would assume and he was brought up as a viking a dane so he is i would say eth ethnically ethnically saxon which is from the island of um that whole island where england and scotland is or um yeah and but he was raised um in just different different culture from that so his views are very different um so that's it i don't want to do any other spoilers um it's it's very interesting on how it also does show, especially when Uhtred is, is around, which he is the main character of the show, it shows how the way they live and the way he behaves and what they believe is how you should live. Um, and they explain a lot of that, I think, in the very beginning of the show, first two episodes, I think. So it, it's very, very different culturally um, I think this show is really huge in certain regions of the world, especially like if you're interested in historic in history, if you're if, if you're also very interested in the type in the time of history that is there there was no United Kingdom, there was no um, England, it was just smaller uh, kingdoms within the um, within the island itself, and it even shows there on the show how at this particular time in history what they were called and what they're called today and th that part actually was really interesting for me i do enjoy history um but i just i didn't know much about this part of history um certain parts you know are more common i guess in regards to you know when you go to school and things like that but this part of history i really wasn't very familiar with um, I would say a lot of people have suggested for me to watch the show. I just never really got around it. Every time I would look at it and every time I would see like the synopsis, I just, it just, I, it wasn't, I wasn't drawn to it. And now I just finished season one and I really enjoy it. A lot of people of, there have been a few people that have told me that they prefer this one than Game of Thrones. So that kind of really piqued my, my, um, piqued my interest because I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big, 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 big fan of Game of Thrones. I really, really love that show. So I, I was kind of um, interested in that sense for just for season one alone. I I don't really see it. I don't really see what people see that it's it's even compared to Game of Thrones. Like, I don't I don't really see it. Game of Thrones to me is very purely fiction fantasy. This is historical fiction. And majority of the fiction is because of Uchid's character. Um, I did do a little bit of digging because I didn't really know much about this show. I didn't know much about the actors in the show. I didn't know much about where the story came from, if it was real or not. So basically, um, the creator, 
is uh, this is actually based on a series of books and I believe there are already 12 that are published and I think there's the final one or there I don't know if I, I'm not sure if it's the final one but there's a 13th book coming out so it's 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 a very beloved uh, series of books and there's a ton of books and from every I've never read the books before I've never even heard of it until um, I started watching the show and I got really I really really love this show so that's when I started to do that um it's just I don't know um I like the fact that everybody in this show is someone fresh for me like I've never seen them do really anything else other than this show and I think that's refreshing in a sense I'm not saying like if I watch I know I've mentioned this before in a different show but like it's not like if I watch something and I recognize the people that I'm not going to be intrigued by it if they do a good job. But I, it, there's just a sense of like, you really, I really don't know anything about these people. I don't know what they can do and what they can't do. And so far, everybody really is great in it. Um, I don't really have any complaints in regards to the cast and the you know the the writing and and the production itself it seems to be very well made so i recommend this i do give it a two thumbs up and i do give it a four out of five stars i really enjoy this show um yeah i i just don't see it to be connected with game of thrones there were also some talk about um this is also very heavily compared to vikings which is in the history channel i did start to watch that before and life just happens and i i think i only stopped at season two i don't even remember but that that's a really really good show too and it does um give you insight on what it's 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 very much also kind of shown um for tv but um it's more based on a lot of um, historical people so that one I also really truly enjoy um, I don't know I think it's been a while since I watched the Vikings so I can't really compare it to that sense they a lot of people were saying that I guess it's more fast-paced than this one this one really does it has some action scenes in them when you need to um, but you you have to imagine that this was the time you know they're they're really basing it on like history um when you compare it to certain other shows i'm not saying that vikings is not based on history but when you when you also compare it to like game of thrones game of thrones is purely fictional you can have as many action and as many scenes as you want that is faster paced um i've i would how the show ended for the first season it, it really is a big question mark and I don't know. I don't know if they were trying to do it that way or that's just how the, the book kind of ended in a sense because I don't even know if this is just based on one book per season or like two or three books per season. Um, I I do enjoy it. Um, I don't want to keep talking about it. I just feel like I'm going around in circles in a sense and also it's because I really, really enjoy the show. It, it's a really, really good show. Um, I love that they are they're, they've shown certain details that um are kind of rough in a sense but i guess back then that was all very normal so anyway if there's other shows that you guys recommend that i would probably enjoy because i really love this show let me know down in the comment section all my social media comments are in the description section anything else comment section i love hearing from you guys all the time and um it just don't just don't kind of categorize it with just shows movies too but i i feel like i'm more of a serious kind of person and i've been told that multiple times <laughs> so thank you guys so much for the wonderful loving support you guys are beautiful amazing people and i'll see you guys again next time bye